Hello everyone, it's another Saturday and that means another walk with my dog Tychus. Wanna say hello again Tychus? Yeah, good dog. So I had another thought and wanted to share it while I was walking and enjoying this beautiful day. And that is in regards to the difference between being liked and being respected. And I wanna talk about that by first sharing a story. When I was around 19 years old, I went on a mission for the Lord through my church. And there's a lot of young men serving on missions all throughout the world. And I was called to serve in the Tennessee area. And there were two types of missionaries. There were ones who were committed to the work that they were doing. It's a lot of preparation for it. It costs a lot of money. It's about $10,000 to spend two years out serving others. And that comes from your own pocket and you don't get really any contact with your family, at least you didn't when I was serving. You got, I think, four phone calls the entire two years you were out, that you were out, and the rest was all through letters. So it was a lot of sacrifice. So you had those who were dedicated and who were serving, and then you had others who, for one reason or another, they just wanted to have fun. And they broke rules, and they weren't paying attention. Luckily, there weren't too many of those, but there were some. And I remember when I got out there, each missionary gets trained by an older missionary. And the missionary who trained me talked to me about being respected or being liked. They said, a lot of people in the world want to be liked. I think that's common human nature to have other people like you. Uh, to be the type of person that if somebody was having a party or an event, they'd want to have you come along. But he said, People that like you don't always respect you, and people that respect others don't always like them. And he said, someday or another, you've got to determine what you want your life to be like. Do you want people to like you or respect you? Now, the goal in life is to have both. You want people to respect you and to like you, but that's not always gonna be the case. And you have to choose for yourself what kind of response you want from other people. So, to talk about the difference, respond to have people respect you means that they trust what you say that they believe in who you are that you are true to your word and that if there's an issue if there's a problem that people are going to rely on you now that doesn't always make you a popular person sometimes that means that people don't want to be around you in the fun times but when things get hard or when leadership or responsibility needs to be taken you're the person they call on and that was something I had the wonderful opportunity to choose early on because I had that discussion with that fellow missionary. And I decided that I wanted to be respected because I had grown up all my life being the guy that everybody liked. I was funny, I messed around, I didn't get good grades, I didn't take on responsibility. I mean, I was a lazy kid. To give you an example of how lazy I was, we lived on about a third of an acre of land, all flat ground, and my mom wanted me to mow the lawn so badly that she offered to pay me $20 every time I mowed it. And this was back in the 90s. $20 was good for a young kid to make just mowing a small plot of land. And I didn't want to do it. I even had friends who, had told, who told me they'll mow the lawn for me and they'll pocket $10 and they'll pay me $10 for doing nothing pretty much. But I was too lazy to even do that. I didn't want to get everything set up and get the lawnmower out so I didn't do it. But I always had fun, I always partied, or, you know, had fun with people, joked around and people liked me. But when it came to responsibility, no one ever picked me for responsible matters. They always saw me as sort of the clown, the immature kid, the one who you could get a good laugh out of, but not to get anything done. So when I had this discussion with this fellow missionary, I decided I wanted to be respected. And there are a couple of different ways that people can gain respect. And I think that forcing respect from other people is not the best way. Earning respect is another way. And that comes from serving other people and staying true to your word in all things. And so that's something I worked really hard on. And I got kind of a bitter sweet response one day from another fellow missionary who I got to know about a year later 
who had no knowledge about the conversation I had with this other fellow missionary. And this missionary was one who broke a lot of rules, who got in a lot of trouble, and we had been asked to serve together just as kind of a last chance for him on changing his life around before a decision was made that maybe he had to go home, that it wasn't, that he wasn't focusing well enough on the job that he had to do. And I remember we're sitting in the apartment one night and he turns to me and he says, you know what, I respect you. I probably don't think I'd invite you to any parties because you're not a fun person, but I really respect and trust you. And as much as it hurt to know that this guy would probably never invite me to a single party, I, I loved feeling that he could trust me with his life and with important matters. And I think that as people gain respect for others, as you gain respect from other people, that as long as you handle yourself the right way, it's still okay to be liked and to have fun and to enjoy yourself. But I think that if I had to pick between the two, between being respected and being liked, I think I'll always go for being respected. Um, being liked is fun when things are good, when life is great. But when things get hard, you start realizing just who your true friends are. And people who just like you, they quickly drop you like an old hat whenever things get hard because they're not in need of a good laugh at that time. Whereas somebody who's respected, who's trusted, friends will always hold on to you because they need your help. And that's been a hard thing for me to balance throughout life because sometimes you can take being respected to the extreme, again, like I said, and not make your life enjoyable with other people. And that's, that's something that's okay to do. It's okay to have fun, enjoy yourself, play around, but just to remember to always have that aspect of respect. So, I don't know, that's, that's the thoughts that I had today was on the difference between being liked and being respected. What I'd like to know from all of you is, have you ever had a situation in your life where you were, you were forced to choose between being respected and being liked? Or have you been in a situation where you chose one or the other and it didn't work out so well for you? I'd be really interested to see what other people's opinions are on the aspect of being liked versus being respected. One of the things that I've always tried to steer my life around is being trustworthy in all things. I think that's a huge aspect of being respected is when people can trust you. And I wish I knew the full story, uh, the full quote, but I don't. And I, uh, you know, I don't prepare for these videos, so I don't know what I'm going to say and I don't prepare any attributions of things that I'm going to quote. So I don't even know who said this. Um, if I find it later, I'll post it in my video comments. But a guy said that if you were to put him in the strongest prison with the tallest walls and the most guards, that given enough time, he'd find a way to, to escape. But if you drew a circle around that person and had him give you his word that he wouldn't leave it, then there would be no storm, no act of nature, no person, no temptation that would cause that person to get out of that circle. And he said that to demonstrate what it means to keep your word. And I think that's something that in today's society, and for many years, we haven't been very strong at is keeping our word. People so readily break their promises, break their words on things. And if you look at old cultures, that was something that was very important. People would rather lose their lives than go back on their word, no matter what. And so I want to encourage all of you to do your best to always keep your word. If you promise somebody that you're going to do something, do it. Get it done. If you promise yourself that you're going to do something, then do it. Get it done. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't make excuses for why it's okay to break your word. Just do it. Because the more that you can be trusted with your word, the more people are going to respect you, and eventually, the more they're going to like you. When you lose that trust, it's so hard to get back. In my opinion, it's nearly impossible to get trust back. I always like to liken it to a nail. If you have a nice straight nail and you pound it in with a hammer, it goes right in. But if you ever bend a nail, it's useless. Now, you can take that nail, and if you're very careful with it, you can turn it on its side and you can tap it with the hammer and get it almost straight. 
And as long as you're gingerly hitting the nail with that hammer, you can eventually get it in. But it's really hard because you've weakened the integrity of that nail. And no matter how close you get it to straight, it's always gonna be weaker than it was before. And you're always gonna have to be really careful with that nail and getting it in. And I think it's the same way with trust. When you break your trust, it is really hard to get back. If you're careful with it, if you work really hard in restoring that trust, then it can come back. But I think there will always be some doubt in other people's minds as to whether or not that trust will stay. And so it's my opinion that it's always best to keep your trust with people and to never break it because it's so difficult to get it back. And so think about today, think today about anything that you've promised, that you've committed to, whether it be for somebody else or for you, most especially. And if there's something in your life that you haven't fulfilled, if there is a promise that you've broken, if there is trust that you've lost with somebody else, I encourage you to do something about it today. Go restore that trust, go fulfill that promise, go do what you were planning on doing, and you're gonna find out that life will be just a little bit more better. Thank you so much for taking a walk with me in Tychus, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.